So I've been, ex- I've been excited to talk to you about this one. We're moving on. Um, again, no transition. It's like George Carlin. He doesn't do transitional material. Well, how do it? We just go on. Um, so there was a, 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 let me, let me hang on. Talk amongst yourself for a second, folks. Um, I want to see exactly where they were going. Okay. So it was a Delta flight, uh, that had 336 passengers on board. That's a big flight. Yeah. It was going from Atlanta to Barcelona. They love to fly and it shows. They do. They do. They love to charge the shit out of you too. Um, yes. Delta's expensive. Yes. Um, I've flown Delta. To uh, it, it, yeah. So, so this Delta. flight, this flight, it's an eight hour flight okay. from uh, Atlanta, hot Atlanta to hot Bar- Barcelona. I thought you were going to say hot garbage. And, and, but then it had to turn, turn around two hours into the flight and come back to Atlanta and land because the FAA made them do so. And oh. you're saying to yourself, well, gee, Dave, what, what could possibly what, happen? What possibly happened? Someone shit all over the plane. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Now, now, hang on. <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> Not joking. Like in, inside the cabin? Or like... So... <laughs> so... I'm sorry. That's so terrible. A quote is, it's just a biohazard issue. We had a passenger who had diarrhea all the way through the airplane. So they wanted us to come back to Atlanta. Um, Oh. I do have. And here's what's really bad. Yeah. (laughs) That's four total hours in the air, right? Because two hours out and then two hours back. Yeah. But they couldn't couldn't make it see. (laughs) <laughs> Apparently it was so bad. It was so bad. Um and like and like there's I, I don't I, I meant to grab it but I didn't. But there was like uh audio from the 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 pilot talking to the towers like yeah it's a biohazard like we have to come back. And I'm just picturing somebody grabbing their ass running through the flight and just shitting everywhere. <laughs> and you would think passengers would be mad, right? But all the passengers were like, no, dude, we needed to turn around. Like, <laughs> like, I get it. Oh, no. Like, I get it. I even have I even have exclusive audio from one of the passengers when this started happening, when, like, the shit started hitting the fan, quite literally. And one of the passengers said, oh, shit. and it was everywhere. <laughs> Can you imagine... You're on a flight. I mean, like you said, a big flight. That's it's packed. It's a biohazard. That's packed. 336 pack. That is a packed flight. That is the, that is the you know, two rows of three seats. It's, like you know? the, it's not the Airbus. No, but it's big. But it's, it's, but it's big. And and somebody goes, the Boeing 747. Somebody who goes running through that thing, shitting like a shotgun. <laughs> and what's really bad, <laughs> how did it get, how, I mean, I don't know. How is it not contained at least within the passenger's clothing? I I don't know. I don't. Because I mean, theoretically, sure. Yeah. I mean, you've got you've got a couple of barriers there that might at least catch it. And I sure am not going to stop running once I'm going. <laughs> I'm just picturing like there's one bathroom on the flight, and the dude's waiting, and like somebody's in there. I, I'm saying a dude. I don't even know if it was a guy. It might have been. It might have been a female passenger. I have no idea. But like, and you're just shitting everywhere, just shitting. <laughs> well, I mean, and, and I mean, here's the other thing. I mean, even even <laughs> if it's really bad, I mean, you had to have some inkling that something was about to happen. That generally I mean, just doesn't I, pop I mean, up. On I mean, you. Yeah. every now and then people will have that happen where it's just like, oh, pfft, you know, but, like right now I'm doing it right but, now. But I mean. That's bad. <laughs> and then, like, so they were running down the aisle, just apparently dropping a hot. Can, can you imagine, like, grabbing a flight attendant? So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, um, that gentleman just shit all over me. <laughs> he has just shit his pants. <laughs> somebody, oh. somebody stands up and shit starts flying. And- oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's bad. Oh God, can you imagine? And again, the the passengers were like, "Yeah, 
like we needed to turn around. We like, could not have made it six hours. Two was bad enough. Can you imagine the smell? We disembarked, man. I feel bad for you. I had to clean that. I up. was three rows behind a guy one time that farted. <laughs> <laughs> and like this dude, um, what's his name? DJ Khaled. Is that his name? Khaled? Khalid. Khalid. Rhymes with Salid. <laughs> he had had a whole lot of Salids. Um, oh. And this dude, I oh. mean, he was about that big. Oh. And dude, and like when he did it, he goes, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mother load. And his buddy that was beside him goes, come on, man. <laughs> and like I'm laughing and like some other people are laughing. And it was a long flight back to Seattle. <laughs> And all of a sudden, like, I'm listening to a, a book, and I'm like, oh, no. Like, uh, like, oh, shit. And I'm like, dude, you, you need to go check yourself. You <laughs> rickety, rickety wrecked yourself. <laughs> He's like, it's like, I have dropped the ass pellet. <laughs> it's in my panties. Oh, uh, that's bad. What would you say was Khalid? DJ Khalid. Khalid? Yeah, Khalid. It's, uh, uh, could be Khaled, maybe Salad. It's Lucas, Lucas, Josh. So it's the same guy, Josh Lucas. Josh, yeah. Uh, Bill Jonas, whatever the hell those people know. Um, hey, Jonas' brother getting divorced. Uh, yeah, that? from Sansa Stark. Mm. Yeah, Sophie Turner. Is that a real name? Yeah, she's Sansa to me. Sansa, Sansa from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah. There you go. I was yeah. a big Game of Thrones fan. There you go. I have the t-shirt and underwear and everything. Apparently she did something on the ring cam. That's the root. That's the rumor. Oh, on the ring. That it was, it was, it, it was irretrievably broken. The marriage after whatever she did on the ring cam. Did she have diarrhea? On I the mean, ring cam? she might've just pooped all over it. it? She might, she might've fallen ass up and just <laughs> like, that's me. Like I a fall, yama, like a, fall, like, fall like a llama. Up. I said a yama, like a llama. <laughs> <throwing> <laughs> Ah. There's a, there's inside joke about that one, but we'll not leave that alone. No, okay, I can't. <laughs> that's that's an off the air <laughs> conversation. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So they were halfway to, or they were two hours into an eight hour flight, and they said, "No, we had to turn. Uh, back. We got to turn around because it's a biohazard. <laughs> it's their shit everywhere." <laughs> That's a bad day. I, I I really want to. I'm telling you, I don't know if you're going to hear this. It's a biohazard. But if you are the person, if you're the mad shitter that shit all over this plane and you want to be on our podcast, I 1,000% would love to talk to you. Come on down. Let's talk about shitting on a plane. How did that feel when you realized there was no turning back? It's like there's snakes on a plane, part I, one, I and have, then there's shit on a plane. I have decided to crap my pants now. <laughs> I have decided to crap my pants now. Um... Can you imagine the, <laughs> I mean, you know, cause you're already in the hot sweat because you know, and then the sphincter fails. <laughs> Squirty McSquirtison. I mean, what if it was like running out of their pant leg? Uh, oh God, can you imagine? It must've been a large voluminous deuce. Imagine being that person though, after this happens. I I, I would have like you myself. can't go back to your seat. No, I'd lock myself in the bathroom. I, like, I mean, like you just, like somebody else is just going to have to figure something out. This is like I mean, you just like want to like get a flight attendant and say, "Listen, I have not only shit myself. Can we pull down to where there's we won't have to worry about cabin pressure and just throw me but, out? But I have also shit all over this plane. There is shit on this plane. There's not snakes on the plane. There's shit everywhere. I have shit on everyone from row twenty four all the way back." I am the mad shitter. I have shit all over me. I have no way to clean myself up. What would you recommend? And she goes, eh, let me talk to the pilot. And the pilot says, yeah, we're turning around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then you land wow. and like, does that person leave first to walk like the walk of shame in front of everybody? Or do you let them get off last? I, I, I don't know. I just I can't imagine being that person and how embarrassing that would be. I just don't even know. I mean, it, it could have been the trip of a lifetime. Instead, it turned into the shit of a lifetime. Nasty deuce. 